Okay, I'm going to make a little bit of a Brussels sprout um, stir fry. I don't want it too cooked, uh, just a little steamed. So I always wash, big secret, uh, wash your vegetables before you put them in the fridge. So these guys have been washed, uh, but I haven't pulled the little outer leaves off. So I'm just going to slice them in half and I have um, my frying pan on high. That's a, another secret to 15 minute cooking is get your frying pan with a little bit of water in it on high. You don't need any oil or anything like that unless you wanted to add it for the recipe itself. But I stir fry everything in water. And um, so that's, that's a really big thing with um, turning it on, getting it going. Make sure it doesn't boil dry though, because you don't want it to boil dry. In which case, see this is drying a bit, so I'm just going to add a bit more water so that that can be heating while you're cutting everything else up. What I want to do is I'm going to add some pineapple to this, to these, um, I might want that smaller, to these Brussels sprouts just for flavor. And I actually am going to put a little bit of coconut oil in there just because I want um, I want it to have that little glazed look and flavor. You know, you could use avocado oil, you could use any other kind of oil as well. So the trick is turn this on high, get those Brussels going, because although I don't want them very cooked, I don't want them too crunchy raw either. Uh, I do like Brussels sprouts crunchy raw, and that's awesome, but they need to be, you know, finer sliced than just in half uh, for crunchy rock was well it's all right depends how good your teeth are I guess okay so get these guys going and um, and then uh, add the pineapple to it and for protein I am going to add some hazelnuts you could use whatever kind of nuts that you want and again that's just add a little bit of extra protein I was thinking about adding hemp hearts, but you really do not want to be heating hemp hearts at all. They're just so fabulously wonderful uh, when they're raw. So you can see this is steaming. I'm just going to throw all these in here. It takes a little bit more time. Um, those outer, outer leaves look pretty good on these guys. Okay. So, again, when the water boils dry in there, um, it's going to make more direct contact with the food. So once you're set to, to have it on high and to really watch it, uh, you can let it kind of boil a bit more dry. So I'm going to add these, this pineapple to it. So that's probably a cup of Brussels sprouts and maybe a half a cup of sliced pineapple fresh and um, whoops <laughs> about a quarter cup of hazelnuts and we won't use the ones on the floor I'm just gonna chop them a little bit you know they soften up right away when they're raw and they need to be raw but when you have them raw and you're cooking with them in any kind of moisture, they soften really nice, so they're not going to be uh, crunchy. Nice. Just rinse my hands off there and add a little bit of Celtic sea salt, or you could use Himalayan sea salt if you want. I always love adding just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Good for circulation, good for the blood, and it does bring out the flavor. And I like adding a little bit of black pepper, more for color, really. And that needs some red. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, you know, you want to think about color for making it appetizing and appealing. And so I'm just going to grab a little red pepper here. I don't want a lot of the red pepper flavor. I just want a little bit of color. I'm just going to finally cut not very much just a little bit get some well, that one needs to be cut again get a little bit of color in there I'm not even gonna add that yet because <laughs> I don't want it to turn dark red I want it to stay bright red okay so look at that does that look amazing or what um, 
I'm going to add just a little bit of coconut oil um, to give it a bit of a glaze, but you certainly don't have to. Okay, just a teaspoon of that. And that's about it. You know, like I say, you just want it barely softened and um, so that it's very almost raw, heated more than anything, uh, and almost raw, and just softened a little bit. Add those little bits of pepper. Get that coconut oil to where it's melted. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So awesome. I will have pictures and the recipe on YouTube uh, through GeorginaSear.com. And that's it. It's ready to serve.